Stephen Davis played in only two games last season. Underwent right knee surgery. Steve Smith, the Panthers' top receiver over the first two weeks with 12 catches. Panthers coming off the 27-17 victory over New England at home last Sunday. On third down and five, Panthers have to get to the 40 for a first down, and they do. Into Dolphins territory, finally dragged down at the 39-yard line is Steve Smith, a 26-yard pickup as we check in for the first time with James Brown. Punt two. I would hang this ball out, I would kick it to the sideline, but I would not give Steve Smith an opportunity to return. He has four career touchdowns on punt returns. See how high he's kicked this one? A terrific hang time and again a fair catch. And Smith bobbled the football and the Dolphins have recovered. Well, maybe that's why you do punt to him. He did a bad job of feeling that ball and put his hands over his head rather than trying the basket catch. And I think maybe the sunshine out there might have affected him. Hang that ball up that high. Watch him. Fair catch. Now watch him. See that? Punters don't catch the ball with their hands over their head like that. They generally wait for it to come into their body. And it was recovered by a former Carolina Panther, Travaris Tillman. Yeah. At the end of the game, pulled up with that hamstring. Question marks all week about it. Lost in Seattle last week. Here's the toss to Smith, who lined up in the backfield. And he crosses midfield and picks up a Panthers first down, a gain of six. Well, you know, Steve Smith fumbled that punt, and so that's weighing heavily on Steve. So he knows the rest of today, he's got to get that play back. He's got to make up for that fumble. And, uh, and so uh, get him the ball any way he can. The first down, so the Panthers now in Dolphins territory from the 48. There he is. Along to the outside, and the catch is made by Smith. Wrapped up by... The rookie Travis Daniels. This week he, did, he wasn't in there on a goal line play and he, he bounced his helmet from here to eternity. You know, but he wants the ball in his hands and you're, and you're good to feed him. Go better to go right there. Here's Steve Smith at the bottom. Nice job by Sam Madison running him out to the sidelines. Third down and 11. Panthers have to get to the 37 for a first down. Again, play action. Over the top, incomplete. Intended for Smith, he was covered by Daniels. Well, the pass rush made Jake just a little jumpy there. Nowhere to go down the field because the coverage was good. Trying to get the ball to the playmaker underneath. Now third and goal. Play action. Delome looking end zone. Wow. And it is caught for the touchdown by Steve Smith. Wow, what a throw. <laughs> uh, Steve Smith doesn't really fool anybody here. He gets covered. For Smith, his second touchdown reception of the season, and for Jake DeLone, his 50th career touchdown pass as a Carolina Panther. Seidman shifting into the backfield from the 38. Play action. DeLone with time, and the pass a bit high. Intended for Steve Smith. Nice little double move that time by Steve Smith to get open. Nice throw by Jake. Steve just couldn't bring that ball down. Working outside on the rookie. Travis Daniels gets inside there. That's where the ball's supposed to be. Daniels selected in the fourth round out of LSU. Blom over the top. And Smith picks up the first down in Dolphins territory. Finally taken down at the Miami 44 after an 18-yard pickup. Well, it's just a good route combination. I mean, Steve Smith is just going to run a shallow cross right underneath here. They clear out the other side. He beats the press coverage of Travis Daniels, uses the umpire as a, as a pick. Get the play, uh, get the ball to the most explosive player. Smart move, smart call by Dan Henning. Good execution by Jake. Smith's fifth catch of the day. Just sitting out there today. We went to a separate high school field to do that and work on it this week. Malone on third down looking for Smith, and he makes a diving catch inside the five. You no, know, he just beat he just beat Reggie Howard, who they wanted to go after. They Steve Smith spent a lot of time in practice when Reggie Howard was in Carolina going against him. And they just felt like they could take advantage of him. 
Steve Smith right here in a slot, one-on-one -on -one with Howard, beats him to the inside. That's coverage in front, coverage behind. Jake DeLone can't throw that ball anywhere else to get it completed. Sometimes you just have to trust your receiver. Steve Smith juggled that ball a little bit underneath there, but still wrapped it into his belly before he got to the ground. Julius Peppers has checked in on offense for the first time today. He'll be a wide receiver, and it's going to be a game here. They're, Julius Peppers is going to go out to wide receiver along with Steve Smith. They're going to see if the coverage goes out. They get more than two guys covering them, they're going to run the ball to the right. First and goal from the three. The low. Looking that way, and it's a touchdown to Steve Smith. His second touchdown today. They use Peppers <laughs> as the decoy. <laughs> Taking a little trip now. Davis to the sidelines. Third down and three. And the Lobes pass is good enough for a first down. Steve Smith, a terrific second effort. Bad at himself. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I mean, Nick Saban said, we've got to have it. we have to have an answer for Steve Smith. Now, he's going against their best corner right here, Sam Madison. He breaks the, the hand coverage right there, and now here's when Steve Smith is at his, work, at his best. He becomes a punt returner, breaking tackles. Almost got out of that last tackle by Zach Thomas there. He has 107 yards today. His second game this season, over 100. At 138 against the Wallens two weeks ago. This is Nick Goings. Oh, man. And John Fox using some trickery, but it does not work. Gives Carolina a first down from their own 26-yard line. Pass complete to Steve Smith on the outside. Wrestled out of bounds at the 33. And a late flag as Dolphins... A little too rough on Smith after he was out of bounds. Steve Smith has something to say about it. All that does is pump that kid up more. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number 29. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Well, it's unnecessary by Sam Madison at the end of this play, but his coverage is wrong. Watch. He's up there on Steve Smith. Now he takes off. And Carolina goes right after him. You, you got a guy backpedaling against Steve Smith, you're not going to have any chance. You see, now he takes him to the ground, eight yards out of bounds. It's just it's silly. So, now second and ten from the 47. And the slant is caught by Smith, who has become the Lombs' go-to guy here today. He is in Dolphins' territory, gain of four, as we check in. With Jay Glazer, Jay. Kenny, it's clear the Dolphins are trying to frustrate Steve Smith today, trying to get him to lose his composure. Earlier in the game, two series ago, Sam Madison came out of nowhere on that previous turnover. Steve Smith was just walking off the field. Madison came and blew him up, and that's why he got that first penalty. But all game long, they've been taking shots at him, trying to get him to lose his composure. There he is in the slot right here, going up against his former teammate in Carolina, Reggie Howard. Third down and six. Panthers have to get to the 43 for a first down. Good coverage. Terrific coverage on the play by Eddie Jackson, another former Carolina Panther. A 27-yard penalty gives the Panthers a first down from their own 47. Complete to Steve Smith. And wow. Smith breaks free towards the end zone. Touchdown. His third touchdown today. 53 yards from DeLone to Smith. And what an explosion after the catch by Steve Smith. Because he ran away from everybody. And you thought somebody might have had an angle on him. You talk about making up for a fumble punt in that first quarter. Watch this. On Madison here. Boom. There's the catch. Now watch him turn it on. Travis Daniels, the rookie, had a shot on him. And he just bounced off him. And then... A Sports Illustrated type post. So Steve Smith with his third touchdown today. He ties a team record with his 11th catch. All in the same end zone. Here they've been. Two short ones. Nice lob throw by Jake on that one. A little more of a bullet right there. 
and then what Steve Smith is as good as any receiver in, in this league does, what he can do after the catch. And then, you know, a little posing at the end. Why not? Not often you get three touchdowns on the road in this league. Remember, that, remember Nick Saban said, we need to have an answer for Steve Smith. They don't, still don't have an answer for this direction today. Two minutes to go. Second down and nine from the 43. Well, Holmes pass intercepted. Down the sidelines, Lance Schultz. Place down, the kick from Moray is straight through. Perfect. 